Hi, Kara, and how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Mark. Okay, so let's jump to the first question. The first question is tell us about yourself in a way that demonstrates that you embody my core values of hope, charity, honesty, loyalty, and hard work. Okay, so hope, honesty, charity, loyalty, and hard work. Tell us about yourself in a way that demonstrates that you embody those core values. Okay, um, my name is, um, my actual name is Titus Gift, but I go by Kit Karen. Your Ebola. actual name is what? Titus Gift. Titus Gift. But I go by that name on social media. But Ebonlu is the same as Gift. It's just the translation in Yoruba language. Okay. Um, I think the core value of charity, loyalty, um, honesty, hope, and hard work. Uh, in, term, in terms of um, a loyalty, I relate with people in terms of my business. I relate with people on the fairground. I'm loyal to but if I say okay, if I say I'm working with this particular sex of persons, I'm loyal to them. I stand with my word, support, no matter the situation, no matter the weather, whether it's raining or it's sunny, I stand with them because I have a loyalty I have loyalty for a particular brand. I want to work with. Then regarding the um the core value of honesty, I'm truthful when it comes to dealing with people because i have i have a brand aside of uh, my usual uh business i do i work as a registered and um, csc agent i've gotten a job you work as a what now registered, a registered csc agent okay i'm a lot yes yeah, so i've i've done jobs for persons i've not met before just based on um messages inbox sometimes they see my post on registrations for companies um it ngos and all that and they chat me up and then for that they send me money to my account for me to register and i deliver i've met like several persons on the same platform and they everything has gone no, no one has ever called me out for taking money and not delivering the work or anything i never had issues with anyone online regarding my um online business well, regarding the issue, the next one, which is hope, I have hope because on a daily basis in Nigeria, things are hard, we all understand. But it doesn't mean that you give up on your dream. You keep on praying, hoping that things will get better. So there's always there's always this um, feeling that uh, today is a brand new deal. Things will get better. It will be different from yesterday. So that's the reason, that's the most important thing on um, earth. You need to have hope in your life. So I'm sorry that the next one, which is hard work, I'm a hard working person. I like to diversify. I like to do a lot of things that will bring in income. Aside my usual job of working in a firm and schooling at the same time, I have this um, ability to um, multitask. Because currently I'm running a program, and that's why I really need the, the scholarship grant for my master's program at Unilag. Probably before now, the fee was less. All of a sudden, it's the second session for the part time student, and the money has gone up to about 300 thousand naira. reason being that i was unable to pay for the full session the first and second session last um early this year as a result of that you're you had um should i say you had you are not um opportune to like pay the lesser fee of about 150 and thousand so as a result of that i'm stranded although i know i'm aiming money where i'm working but it's not going to be enough my expenses and every other responsibility okay so yeah you're going into the second question now so the second question is what are you going to do with this 400 us dollars if you win the scholarship okay ma um if i'm opportune where i'm opportune to um get the grants the scholarship grants i'll invest in my education that's um, about three hundred thousand. then the remaining um hundred thousand i'll put in business because prior before now I was into sales of um, fanny packs. That was just about that was during my NYC um, period, 2019. I did for a period of six months. I had my um, profits. I I went out of it. I went into I ventured into perfume business. That was around 2020 when I joined the company then. And to an extent, I sold a lot. I had gains and all. So my plan is to put in about fifty thousand into oil perfume perfumes. I'll go perfume to, business. You said perfume. Okay. Yes. I sold it for about a year plus, almost two years during my um during my work with the company. And that was the period I got to meet with um your friend Mrs. Linda Kachuku and they still following that was around twenty twenty. 
then my boss was like okay we need to do um more like an ad an advert start accepting friend requests follow some certain person for visibility of the company i wouldn't want to mention the name of the company but i know you're aware of the company that's kind of stamp people a lot of money and all that so that's when i started following you and i've seen a lot of your posts and all that but i think earlier this year i was seeing your post but it stopped within a period of about a few months three to four months i stopped seeing so all of a sudden when your sister had the um her marriage your um views your post popped up on my so that's when i checked i was even still i was still following you okay so if you can win the scholarship grant that's my plan invest in my study because the excellence i'm running the master's program is to improve my portfolio okay and what's what's your master's then? what what is the master's program you're running what is it? law it's master's in law okay master yes ma and my second year and second year session Okay. Yes. okay. So the last question is, why should we select you out of everybody else that apply for the scholarship to get the scholarship money? Okay, ma. Um, the reason why I should be selected because I'm good at what I do. I'm different. I'm productive. Whenever I, I invest in something, I make sure that I I'm able to um reap the profits, reap the returns. I don't just do something because I just want to waste money or anything. I do a particular thing because I this thing I'm doing to product not just for me, not just for my benefit, but for the benefit of others, benefit of persons around me. Even when the um the process extends to persons around me, it tends to affect other persons around them as well. So it's more like I'll definitely give back to the society in one way or the other. Okay. In one way or the other. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, all the best. So I think you heard when I told them that the previous uh, interviewees um, or the previous applicants, what's going to happen next? We're going to post your video on YouTube and it'll be up to you to get votes. And we're going to decide the scholarship winner based on how active a follower you are and based on the number of votes you get. Okay. Yes, and the votes are going to be counted by the views on your videos, the likes, as well as the comments. The comments are the actual votes. But when the comments don't add up so much, we're going to look at the views and the likes to make sure that they correspond with the comments that we have. Okay? Yes, okay. Ma, how so, I'm sorry? How uploaded? How soon will it be uploaded? That's a very good question. In fact, I refer to access. So I have a video editor. He does his magic. Um, I would typically say less than one week. If he does very quickly, your video should be up by Thursday. But I'm going to be putting posts to let people know, you know, videos are up now so you can go and see if your video is up. But I would say earliest probably Thursday. Um, but, you know, it might take up to a week. But as soon as as soon as soon he edits it, I'll tell him to post it. All right. So the fact that you have interviewed first is actually a it puts gives you a leg up because of course your video will be ready for the person that interviews tomorrow or next tomorrow okay, okay? thank you very much okay all right well all the best okay yeah, thank you. all right bye now bye